book loving friends and welcome back to story time with Mary. This, as I'm sure you are well aware by now, is where we get to read all of our favourite books and of course if you're still loving reading along with me don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together all the time. Okay book lovers, I know that the past I think about 18 months have been a bit stressful for everybody, hasn't it? Sometimes you weren't allowed to see your friends because we, we had a lockdown. And then sometimes you were allowed to go back to school and then you had to stay at home again. And it was all really, really, really difficult. But through it all, we got there, didn't we? And the book that I'm going to read today is a really special book because it's called P.S. Thank You So Much. And this is such a special book because it's a thank you to all of the key workers who helped us through the coronavirus pandemic. This book is written and illustrated by C. Louise Wallace, Isla Wallace and Maisie Wallace. This is a really cool book and if you've got this book at home, grab it now. And let's say a big thank you to all of the key workers together. So I will just tell you a little bit about this book before we get started. P.S. Thank You So Much is a heartwarming story of a little girl who writes letters, draws pictures, and tries to give a little something back to all of the people keeping her and her family safe during the lockdown. But with so many special people to thank, how will she ever thank them all? Should we get started and see how she thanks them all? Maisie felt sad. She had not seen her granny for nearly six months. Her granny lived in a care home and because of coronavirus, she and her family were not allowed to visit. Mummy wanted to cheer Maisie up, so she bought her a present. It was a letter writing set full of different types of paper, pencils and a brand new pack of brightly coloured crayons. I know you miss your granny, so why don't you use your new writing set to write her a letter, said Mummy. I love that idea, exclaimed Maisie. And I can draw her a picture too, she added. Maisie rushed to her bedroom, pulled out a beautiful blue piece of paper and began to write. Dear Granny, Mummy told me we cannot come to visit you because of COVID and it is a virus which is bad. I think COVID is really unfair and I'm going to write to the fairies tonight and ask them if we can fix it. Maybe they can use their sparkly magic to blast it away and turn it into fireworks. I miss you and I want to see you again. Love, Maisie. P.S. Here is a picture of the fairy blasting away COVID. I am going to send it to the fairies. That night before bed, Maisie left her picture and a note for the fairies by the little fairy door. In the morning, she found a reply sitting by her favourite teddy bear. Dear Maisie, thank you for your letter about getting rid of COVID. Even though we love your idea about blasting it into fireworks, psh, 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 psh. our magic is not powerful enough. We have heard the good things are coming soon and you must keep believing and we know you will see Granny again soon. There must be so many people who have looked after you and your family during this horrible time. Can you think of a way to say thank you to them all? Maybe you could write some more lockdown letters. Love forever, the flower fairy. P.S. We loved the drawing you left of us. <laughs> Maisie thought hard about what the fairies had said and asked her big sister Isla to help her write a list of all the people 
she wanted to say thank you to. So she made a list. Can you read the list? She wanted to say thank you to all of the carers, NHS people, bus drivers, train drivers and taxi drivers, vets, cleaners, people at school, postmen and postwomen, rubbish collectors and mummy and daddy. This isn't everyone, said Maisie, but it's a good start, Isla said, smiling. Maisie then got out her new writing set, some pencils, pens and plain paper and made a start on writing her lockdown letters. To all the care workers, my name is Maisie and I am six and a half years old. The fairies told me to think about all the people who have helped me and my family during COVID and to try to do something nice for them. I have drawn a picture for you to say thank you for all you do. My granny lives in Brainy Care Home. She told mummy that all the carers keep smiling and working hard to look after her. That makes me feel all warm and happy inside, like hot chocolate fudge cake. Mm, that sounds yummy, doesn't it? I know granny is safe and being looked after by kind people. Thank you from Maisie. To all the doctors, nurses, hospital staff, and anyone who works for the NHS. So for those of you that don't know, the NHS is the National Health Service here in the UK. And that's where you go to get better if you're sick. My mummy told me that all the staff that work for the NHS are heroes because they put themselves at risk every single day to look after people like me and my granny. My granny is in a care home and I cannot see her at the moment, but she has nurses visit her to check on her. I have drawn granny's nurse in a superhero costume because every day she thinks of others before herself. I promise to fight COVID with the superheroes by washing my hands a lot from Maisie. P.S. I want to be a nurse when I grow up and look after people too. To all of the cleaners everywhere. The fairies told me to think about all the people who have helped others during COVID and find a way to say thank you and to try to do something nice for them. Thank you for keeping everywhere I go safe. My mummy said that you have helped to stop COVID spreading by going into work when most people have stayed at home. Mummy also said I should be more like you <laughs> and try to tidy my bedroom. Thank you for keeping everyone safe, especially my granny who lives at Brainy Care Home. There is a picture of you fighting COVID. I hope it makes you smile. From Maisie, six and a half years old. To teachers everywhere and everyone who works in schools. Thank you for teaching me during this horrible time. You have kept us safe in our bubbles and made learning fun. Thank you to the dinner people who make my hot dinner and the lollipop person who is there every day to make sure I get into school safely. I feel safe at school and you help me deal with my worries about COVID. Thank you for listening when I am sad about not seeing my granny. I have made you a certificate to say thank you. From Maisie W in class two. P.S. I have been working on my two, five and ten times tables. That's very clever of you, Maisie, at six and a half years old. To all the drivers that take people or things to different places, I want to say thank you to the bus drivers for helping people like nurses, care workers and teachers get to where they need to be as they cannot fly like superheroes. Also, the people who play with trains all day, who help to make sure that people can do their jobs. I also want to say thank you to the lorry drivers who carry yummy food and toilet roll. <laughs> Daddy was very worried that we nearly ran out of toilet roll for his bottom. But you all made sure that this did not happen. I have made a picture for you to say thank you and keep on driving from Maisie W.
to the bin men and waste collectors. You are superheroes in super bright jackets. Without you, germs would spread everywhere and it would become really stinky, wouldn't it? Like my daddy's feet. My mummy makes sure the bin is sprayed before you collect it. And daddy has said, we can leave our spring clean till COVID is over. I do not like spring cleaning, so thank you. As a treat and to say thank you, I have drawn you a picture of a chocolate cake and have put a voucher for you to have a slice once COVID is over. From Maisie W at the Little Blue House. To the postman and delivery people, I could not have thanked all the people I wanted to without you. This made me realise how important you are. You helped to keep me and my mummy and my daddy safe as we were able to stay at home and wait for things to arrive. It was really exciting waiting for you to arrive and I'm sorry that my dog always barked at you. <laughs> He's very friendly. To say thank you, I have drawn a picture for you and given you a voucher for a cup of tea when COVID has gone. From Maisie in the Little Blue House. P.S. Thank you for taking my letters to my granny. Dear Mummy and Daddy and Isla, thank you for being there for me during this time. You have made this time really fun and amazing. You have kept me amused by doing things with me, like going for a walk or going for a cycle, which has helped me to feel less sad about not seeing Granny. Thank you, Isla, for helping me to write letters to all of the amazing superheroes out there. You are definitely the best big sister. I cannot wait for COVID to go. At least I have my family to look after me. You all keep me safe. I love you very, very much. I have made you a rainbow to show you that I think of all of you are doing a really fantastic job too. Love, Maisie. What a clever girl Maisie is. Maisie looked at her list of people that she wanted to thank and felt very pleased. She then remembered there were so many other people out there working hard to keep her and her family safe. Maisie's heart sank. How could she thank so many people? So she closed her eyes and thought very hard. And then she had a brilliant idea. She carefully took out one more piece of paper from her writing set and started to write her very last letter. To all the key workers out there, there are so many of you doing amazing things during the lockdown and I didn't want to you to feel left out. Instead of a picture or a voucher, I am making a lockdown promise to you all, which I will put in my window from Maisie W. Thank you so much. What an absolutely wonderful book. This is amazing. P.S. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Maisie said a big thank you to all of the key workers who have been helping her and her granny and her family throughout the coronavirus pandemic, which has been really tough for everybody, hasn't it? So from us at Storytime with Mary, we also want to say a really big thank you, especially to the teachers at my kids' school who have kept them really, really entertained and have taught them so much stuff during this really difficult time. We want to say thank you to all the nurses and the doctors and all the healthcare professionals and everybody that works in the supermarkets and drives buses. We want to say a big thank you to all of you, every single one of you, for everything that you have done for us in the past 18 months. So from all of us here, we want to say good night and we will see you again next time. Bye.